This legislative summary is provided to you by Main Street Insider. This week we examine H.R. 308, the Large Capacity Ammunition Feeding Device Act, introduced by Representative Carolyn McCarthy in response to the tragic shootings in Tucson, Arizona, which killed six people and severely wounded Representative Gabrielle Giffords. Beyond all the pain he caused last Saturday, Jared Loeffner's barrage of gunfire, he hit 19 people using a 33-shot magazine, has reloaded the debate over gun control. Crafted in the aftermath of the shooting, H.R. 308 would lower the limit on the number of bullets allowed in a magazine, which could have saved lives in Tucson. Specifically, H.R. 308 would define high-capacity ammunition feeding device as any magazine holding over 10 bullets, ban the production, import, transfer, or possession of those magazines, sets the penalty for violation as a fine and or up to 10 years in prison, and creates exemptions for active duty law enforcement, anyone protecting nuclear facilities, retired officers whose gun was transferred to them, and testing approved by the Attorney General. Opponents view this as an attack on Second Amendment rights and claim gun control only puts people at more risk. Guns and people that carry guns are deterrent. Supporters argue that the Tucson incident is a key example of how flawed that logic is. The man who killed Gabe and five others shot 31 bullets in 15 seconds, roughly two shots every second. He stopped only when his high-capacity magazine was empty. H.R. 308 and its companion S-32 have been assigned to the Judiciary Committee, but no action has been scheduled. Tune in next Monday for another episode of 90 Second Summaries at MainStreetInsider.org.